Uh, I was born June 28, 1932, up on top of Skylight Mountain, which is about seven or eight miles due south of here. Well, my, my dad was James Henry Reinhardt, uh, and my mother was Burma Teresa Reinhardt. Uh, they were born on top of Skylight Mountain, too. Well, I can remember coming through here before the boat, before the road was paved and seeing the horses drink out of the, out of the cistern out in the middle of the street. And uh, uh, I can remember crossing the old Flat Rock Branch, which is, leads up to where I live now, uh, on, uh, on the Flat Rocks. There was no highway and no bridge on Highway 45. It came up and started up my road and crossed the Flat Rock Branch. And uh, we, we bought a place in 1963 and have lived there ever since. Well, I live on Happy Hollow Road. Uh, Happy Hollow was inhabited by the black people right after the Civil War. And, and they had a little school slash church house on my place with a foundation, part of the foundation of which is still there. And, and when the atmosphere was right during the summertime when they would be having church services, folks down in Cane Hill could hear them singing and getting happy. And so the name Happy Holler. It, it's now spelled H-O-L-L-O-W, but it should be H-O-L-L-E-R. Well, I can remember when we would have uh, family uh, get-togethers on Sunday where everybody would bring something to eat. We'd go up to the to the shade of the big old uh, walnut trees and have a big family dinner. Well, it was primarily our family and all of our kin folks. Yes, there was a there was a big crowd of us. Well, I remember the store here where the museum is, and I also remember the store across the street. I never shopped here without my parents, and and it was always a treat when I could uh, get a piece of candy or maybe a bottle of pop when my dad might buy it for me. We made bean flips and whistles out of hickory whenever the sap was just right for the bark to slip off of a hickory. And, and we shot, we, we had holy marbles. We'd shoot marbles into holes and, and we'd play hide and seek out in the barn and stuff like that. We rode horses whenever I got old enough to have a horse. Uh, <clears throat> We, uh, we went a lot of squirrel hunting. We, we hunted a lot. We used to eat squirrel. And uh, until uh, my dad found out that the rabbits had tularemia, we, we would kill and eat rabbits. We would go to the neighbors and we'd make homemade ice cream. Uh, we shared work. We shared killing hogs. Uh, we might have eight or 10 hogs to kill. For, for the neighbors and ourselves, and we scald them in a big old 50-gallon uh, barrel, and then scrape them. And my my job when we killed hogs was stirring the stirring the lard in a big kettle, and the the, the women would cut the fat off, and we'd put it in there, and, and you just had to continually stir it with a big fire under there so it wouldn't burn and, and cook, the, cook the liquid out of the fat and then we used it to cook with. In the wintertime, I had to get in the kindling for the fire next day, the next day to start the fire with. We had a wood cook stove and the, the wood for the cook stove was called stove wood and the wood for the heater was just called firewood. And the stove wood was cut into smaller pieces so it would fit in the, in the wood cook stove. And, uh, and we had a, bo a boiler and, uh, and uh, a warming closet on the stove. And when I would come home from school, my after school snack a lot of times when we had them was uh, a sweet potatoes. And then mom would put it up in the warming closet for me. And I'd, that would be my snack when I came home before I started uh, chores and I had to go I had to, we had a corn sheller that would shell the corn off of the cob, and then I'd feed the feed the stock there, and then uh, feed the hay out of the hay mow, and uh, and usually gather eggs and feed the chickens, and uh, get in kindling and wood. That was my that was my especially wintertime chores, 
And then in the summertime, I helped. I, I just minded what my folks told me to do and uh, helped in the garden. We always had a big garden. And in the later years, we had, we had 600 baby chickens. And uh, that was, for us, that was a big chicken. And we, we heated the chicken house with kerosene stoves. And, uh, and my mom would always, in the, in the spring of the year, she'd send off for mail order baby chickens. And then we'd grow them and, and we'd have fried chicken dinners. That was what we sent them off for, yeah. But I'd listen to the stories. I love to hear them tell, tell about the stories that, that they lived through when they were growing up. I think it was Howard Coburn and I went up there to the auditorium in the old school building and uh, we salvaged what was left of the curtain that used to cover the stage and it's still here in the museum. Howard and Betty were a couple of people that you never heard them say any bad word or criticize anybody else in the community. They were, they were very, very conscious of, of their neighbors and we appreciated them. Uh, when we started out, uh, I was the night watchman and uh, I brought in the Pepsi wagon and uh, and uh, we, we did the Pepsi wagon, and, and then I spent the night up here in, as a night watchman, and I was that for several years. I started, the, I've been here every year, every year that we had the festival. I'm a retired mail carrier. I carried the mail out of Cane Hill, and with the exception of the time when, uh, when I was in the military, my address has always been Route 1 Cane Hill, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thankful for that. My dad has worked for a dollar a day, lots of times. And uh, I, 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 I picked strawberries for three cents a quart.